sister actually uh, researched it online before I came in. The very first thing was my family had given me an ultimatum to come in a treatment, uh, either live on the street or go get clean. So that was the, my first instinct, just to come here and then I changed my mind, stayed for myself. Sovereign with other treatments, it really helps not just with sobriety but with learning to cope, learning to handle things that get to you in a healthy way. Um, the therapy is a huge part for me, and um, being able to get your my meds balanced out and get the right ones in order for me to continue maintaining my sobriety. I didn't want to be here. <laughs> I was ready to just do 30 days and get out. I had pretty low expectations, um, you know, just to come in, get clean, go back home. But once I got here, I had decided to stay longer and the facilitators, they don't just teach you, they actually like care and listen and you know they're constantly there for you and just try and help you and the therapist, you know, you're their number one priority, you know, they focus on making sure you know how to deal with things the right way and helping you think about the things in your life that you don't want to think about. They're amazing, uh, especially Charles and Carmela. They really are the two facilitators that I've listened to and took what they had to say and actually applied it to myself and my life. And they made a huge impact in my recovery. My main one would be relapse prevention, um, especially with Carmela. She just tells it like it is. She gets in there, you know, talks about reality and, you know, makes it easy for you to actually, like, see what's going on, see your mistakes, see what you want to change. A uh, typical day would be uh, getting up, um, learning to be on a schedule and do chores, um, eat healthy, um, then come to the center and have groups, and then have lunch, and then just after be able to, you know, go back to the house, relax, think about the things that you've learned in that day, and then at night usually go to meetings, which are my favorite part. I have to say my coping skills. Um, when I first got here, I didn't want to cope with anything. I didn't want to talk about anything. I didn't want to deal with it. And now that's all I'm doing is learning to cope with every single thing that I come across and I accomplish it. I have to say this program um, really works if you want it to, you know, um, the staff is constantly, you know, they're always here, no matter what, you just have to take advantage of it, and um, 
no matter what you've done in your past, no matter the mistakes you've made or the people you've hurt or the defects you have in your personality, it doesn't matter. You know, they take you as you are and they live in that day. You know, as long as you're here today and you're sober today, the past doesn't matter.